Chronicle Kids. Wait, that's not right. Hey guys, Eric, blah, freaking blah. Talking about the new Power Rangers teaser trailer. It is Trailer Tuesday. Thank you. So before, before I get started, I watched this trailer and thought it was really reminiscent of the movie Chronicle, where you have a bunch of, you know, a few teenage kids find a site at nighttime. They get into this site. They walk away with budding superpowers that seems to get stronger and stronger. And I'm like, that's really similar. But then I found out that Max Landis uh, was hired to write this film. Now, the part that's kind of unexpected is Max Landis didn't rewrite his own movie into a Power Rangers movie, apparently. Apparently, he says he wrote a Power Rangers movie, and then the studio decided to make Chronicle instead, after firing him. So the quotes from Max Landis' Twitter account are, I wrote a silly, fun, goofy, retro teen action adventure movie. They fired me. And five or so writers later, it appears they made Chronicle. And then in response to someone else, he goes, Yeah, it appears they hired the writer of Chronicle, and he wrote a Power Rangers movie, so they fired him and made Chronicle instead. So, drama, 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 drama. So who knows how this will unfold. So let's dive right into the trailer. Um, Without all the drama, I actually liked this trailer. I'm This movie looks intriguing to me right now. I mean, I did not grow up watching the Power Rangers, so there's not any childhood damages that may occur. Uh, I, I don't have any... There's no nostalgia factor here for me. Uh, because when the original Power Rangers uh, TV show came out, it was a combination of an older Japanese action show interspersed with American actors acting around the stunt work from the original show, which wasn't called Power Rangers, it was called something else, and I can't remember. But I thought that was really lame uh, when I was younger, because I, you know, I had seen, I think I'd actually seen the original show at some point on maybe USA or something. So I thought, that's stupid, this won't last. <laughs> Apparently, I don't always get it right. So here we are, um, and I'm watching this, and I don't have the nostalgia factor. So with that, with no real hang-ups, I mean, I really enjoy Chronicle, so I kind of enjoyed the Chronicle-esque element to the storyline. I mean, I enjoy the way this looks, and I enjoy the fact that this teaser is actually just, it is a, an effective teaser. It makes you want to see more. It doesn't reveal too much. Um, and this will be, it looks to be like this will be an origin story. And I think that, you know, any fans of this franchise should relax a little bit and not want everything, including the kitchen sink, thrown to the first film. I mean, we've seen how that can happen, or turn out, I should say, with Batman v Superman, and no one really should really want that. Um, just cramming all of it in. Save some of the good stuff for the next one, and then the next one after that. Uh, Batman Begins is a fine example of not throwing everything into the mix all at once. To actually let the movie breathe, to let the story breathe, to let it build, and and um, you know, turn into something really great, and save you know some of the good stuff for part two and part three and so on and so forth so overall i like this trailer i recommend watching it um let me know what you guys think are you nostalgic do you have connections to the power rangers are you excited for this film do you think it's going to be a hot steaming pile of you know mess uh, let me know in the comments below please like share and subscribe i appreciate you listening slash watching as always and uh thank you for joining me here on trailer tuesday and i will see you next time